What's going on guys? Bangalian here coming back at you with another video and today we're back on the Madden 16 Connected franchise for a rebuilding. We did this one on stream and please forgive me before you guys start watching this This was one of my first rebuildings um, And I finally have just gotten around to editing it as they would trade Nick Fairley uh, William Hayes from Johnson Johnson there for Jason Verrett bringing him to Los Angeles I guess this is you know the St. Louis Rams at this time. I'm not really sure then we would trade Janoris Jenkins and Kenny Britt for Malcolm Jenkins one Jenkins for another, but this was one of my first rebuildings, so it isn't very good. I make mistakes here. I don't show all the stats as we trade Rodney McLeod, Chris Long, and Michael Brockers there for Allen Robinson, making a lot of moves early. I do more trading in this one than I really ever have in the following ones. There was TJ McDonald in a first for trading up even higher, and there was Brian Quick, Trey Mason, and a fifth for a first. I do not know how that worked, but it did. Um, and am I showing this again? That must be a weird glitch. Whatever. Um, but this was one of the very first ones that I did, so it isn't exactly on point. As you can see there, we have Sean Mannion as our quarterback. Uh, we're kind of trying to tank very hard so I can get a higher draft pick. But there, we would advance to the mid-season, hoping for a very poor record. And although we do have a very poor record at 3-4, and four, it's not as low as I'd like it to be. So I think I might have even just put in my punter and tried to tank even more. And as you can see, we finished 3-13. and 13. Very solid record. <laughs> 13 is trying to tank. Let's check out the awards here. MVP, per usual, goes to Aaron Rodgers, Andy Dalton in second. Coach of the year goes to Griffin Murphy. We'll call him Bill Belichick. Of the 15-1 New England Patriots. Uh, in the AFC, Le'Veon Bell wins Offensive Player of the Year. And in the NFC, it was to, of course, Aaron Rodgers. And Bobby Wagner wins Defensive Player of the Year. And we had absolutely nobody in any single um, contest, or contest for... Defensive or Offensive Player of the Year. It wasn't really working out. Jameis Winston wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. And then Holy Kakaha wins Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Saints. And once again, we had no one even competing for that. In free agency, though, we'd go out and sign Mohamed Sanu and Russell Okun. Could not get Brandon Marshall coming to our team. Now in the draft, we have the first pick, the fourth pick, and the fifth pick. And with the first pick, we would take Derek Johnson, a wide receiver. I usually always trade down nowadays to get picks in the next year's draft. But for some reason, I decided to take the number one overall pick there with Derek Johnson. It didn't really play out. He was a 78 overall, which isn't bad, but that's certainly not best player in the draft. Um, so that's that. Uh, we'd go out and draft a cornerback there, Jahi Finch, who I think I would later move to safety in the series, as well as P.J. Graham, a middle linebacker. who's only a 74 overall, but he has very good potential. And there we would draft our quarterback, Adonis Murphy, in the second round there. He's 14th overall, 98 throw power, very good throwing stats, and then we draft another really highly rated player, Connor Jordan, pass rusher out of USC, to kind of replace Chris Long and William Hayes, and we traded both of them early in the series. And uh, I forgot to show one of the picks here. He's actually really good. Uh, I think it was a cornerback in the second round. Yeah, Torrice Jones. So we did get him as well. He's an 80 overall. And a bunch of really good players in this draft. So hopefully they can uh, help us progress here as we move to the midseason Hoping now for a bit of a better record, but we do have a rookie quarterback, and we are 2-5. and five, A worse record than we were tanking with a 70 overall quarterback last season, but now advancing to the playoffs, you would see. Adonis Murphy had a decent rookie campaign. Uh, 22 touchdowns, 26 interceptions, pretty poor ratio, but almost 4K yards. Todd Gurley would have a decent season with 8 touchdowns and almost 900 yards. Lance Kendricks, as our tight end, also got way more carries than he should have. He did end up with six rushing touchdowns, though, so that's kind of confusing. Muhammad Sanu would total over 1K yards. Allen Robinson uh, came close to that, five touchdowns. And then rookie receiver out of Miami, Derek Johnson, would have five touchdowns as well. Um, moving on to the blocking game here. The offensive line was pretty good this year. Our Most of our linemen did give up sacks, but it was just a very small amount. And if our all offensive linemen are totaling like less than five or six sacks each. That's very, very good, I think. So you know, the offensive line was very good. Auburn rookie P.J. Graham in a linebacker, 74 overall when we drafted him, had 175 tackles in there. Big boy Aaron Donald, 19 tackles for loss, and then 12 sacks led the team for Robert Quinn and rookie Connor Jordan, also totaled four and a half. Didn't get a lot of interceptions, which is kind of bad. Um, we're not exactly getting as many turnovers as we would like, especially here for fumbles, not that many as well, um, considering what I usually have which is quite a few, although a lot of players did have forced fumbles, just no one in particular really stood out 
Uh, and then as far as defensive touchdowns, Bryce Hager got one. And then in free agency, we got signed Bruce Irvin, Duran Dickerson, Caleb Sturgis, Max Unger, Josh Bonds, uh, Brandon Meebane, Garrett Reynolds, a bunch of really huge stars to the team. Um, but now in the draft here, we would have the number two overall pick after having a really poor season again. And we would draft a cornerback, Lamar Martin, 80 overall, not bad at all, very good in coverage, pretty fast, uh, and good size at 6'1". And then with another pick here in the first round, we use that to draft another middle linebacker in for Lando Milliner. 86 speed, 94 tackle, pretty good player there. And then we draft Montre Marsh, the number two overall player in the entire draft at pick number 42. Very good defensive tackle there. Uh, reminiscent of Indomitian Sioux, another Nebraska defensive tackle. So we'll see how he progresses over his career. Now advancing to the midseason, uh, we would go 2-5 and five yet again. Uh, and there you can see... Allen Robinson injured, and injuries are really holding back this rebuilding. Nowadays, I turn injuries off um, because there's no point in doing a rebuilding and players get injured, and even though you built a very good team, they're injured, so they can't do anything to win for you. Uh, so I think I would turn that off. And then a free agency, we would sign ASJ, Nate Chandler, Andre Ellington, Jamar Chaney, uh, some decent players, Nick Williams, Josh Wells, and then a bunch of, you know, kind of awful players near the end for depth. And then we would draft a halfback, Darquez Walden, 83 overall in the second round there. Uh, and you can see the rest of our rookie signings here. Uh, Vlad Jackson was a left guard. As you can see, the halfback that we got there, uh, very high overall. Not in our scheme, though. At this point, I didn't know to change scheme for a better player overall. I just wasn't on that grind yet. Didn't know about that. Um, but now advancing to the midseason, we would be 3-5. and five, Another pretty poor season as our quarterback, Adonis Murphy, isn't progressing too well. Uh, and then we would advance to the playoffs here, hoping maybe that we could turn it around and make the playoffs, but it is for not. Adonis Murphy, though, really turning it around. 4,400 yards, 35 TDs, 20 interceptions. So he's still throwing a lot of picks, but really getting a lot of touchdowns as well. Todd Gurley, almost 1K yards, 8 touchdowns. 8 touchdowns for Lance Dunbar as well. Adonis Murphy also added one rushing touchdown to his uh, campaign as well. 1,200 yards for former rookie Derek Johnson. 13 touchdowns as well. Allen Robinson would have five again. Mohamed's new five. Both close to 1,000 yards as well. So our quarterback is really in a just sling it all the time mode, which isn't bad. It's going to total for a lot of yards in him and a lot of total offense. And there we'd see our two linebackers. We ended up moving for Lando Milliner to right outside linebacker. And they would both have 127 tackles on the nose. Same exact solo and assisted tackles. And as far as sacks goes... Robert Quinn led our team again with 10. Aaron Donald would have 10 tackles for loss and 7 sacks. As far as interceptions go, Jason Verrett would have 5. And then, unfortunately, not a lot of other players are getting interceptions. And then a free agency would go out and sign TJ Yeldon. Very good overall running back here. Young, only 25 years of age. Even though we did draft a very highly rated running back in last year's draft, we kind of wanted someone with a high overall, someone who is proven. And then in this season, we would make the playoffs. Uh, but sadly, the Arizona Cardinals would take it to us, and we would pretty much choke the win. Uh, try to make a little bit of a comeback here, though. Uh, but eventually, if I remember correctly, it was for not, as we would end up losing, and I'm simulating very slowly. This is very annoying to watch. But this was um, one of my first rebuildings that I ever did. I was kind of very new to it at the time. I didn't know how I wanted to do it. Now I know exactly how I want to do it. Uh, but as you can see here, it was for not the comeback didn't exist and we would end up losing this game by the score of 55 to 49 535 total passing yards was not enough to get the job done that's so frustrating uh and we got re-signed robert quinn pj graham and jaihee finch and then we would draft dre house a wide receiver uh and then we would advance to the regular season that was pretty much the only re the only notable draft pick that we had there who was any good and then at the midseason mark, we are 5-3 and three in competition for, um, for what is it, the playoffs. And I have these clips out of order. I'm so stupid. But as you can see there, we would make a trade for a 92 overall center, trading pretty much nothing to get him. Now we would advance to the midseason. You guys already know what our record was, though. It was 5-3. and three. Um, Or I guess this is another season, 6-2. and two. This is so out of order. I'm so sorry for this, guys. Uh, now advancing to the playoffs, though, even though you already saw what is going on. Now we're 10 and 6. Wait, did I just see this? I'm so confused. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what happened with these clips. But now in the playoffs, in super sim mode, 35 to 14, make it 38 to 14. 
45 to 14, really pouring it on against the Cardinals, who knocked us out of playoff contention last season. And uh, we pretty much continue to pour it on at this point, uh, making it a score of 48 21 as time would continue to tick off the clock here. Final score of 54 to 24, beating them by 30 points in our playoff wild card revenge against a bitter division rival here in the Arizona Cardinals. And what is that run, you chicken looking fuck? Excuse my language. I don't know why I said that, but he did. He looked real weird. There's Jaihi Finch, former drafted rookie. Huge day offensively for us. 54 points, over 300 passing yards and rushing yards. And then in the divisional playoff now against the Green Bay Packers, we would try as hard as we could. But what could we do? MVP Aaron Rodgers poured it on here. Uh, and this was a pretty hard game uh, for us to come back from. It wouldn't happen. We'd lose 69-62. to 62. Um, crazy game. I did end up jumping in because I'm like, we're down by 40 points. There's no way we can do anything. Uh, but that is going to be the team. Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, kind of shaky, but I wanted to get this one up. But thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.